uh, narcotic traffic in, in Lansing, drive a disruption in our neighborhoods. So we try to, to tackle those problems to uh, improve the quality of life. The School of Criminal Justice at Michigan State have been involved uh, with the Department of Justice in an initiative that is geared towards supporting local communities and responding to uh, illegal drug markets and the problems associated with them. It does a couple of things. We're looking at targeting some you know, defined areas within our city to try to stabilize some of those neighborhoods. A joint project uh, between the, the police department and MSU uh, to support their efforts uh, in, in initiating this uh, what we refer to as the Drug Market uh, Reduction Initiative. In a, a good, healthy, well-functioning neighborhood, people won't tolerate drug dealing. Changing the norms of you know what, what's tolerated within a neighborhood and, and moving the, the neighborhood back to that healthy status. This is a, the intersection up here in Sycamore. The next one down is Butler Street. In the mid 1980s, you know, this this one block corridor was probably the hottest drug corridor in the city of Lansing, as it was generally you know, overrun by you know, street level narcotic trafficking. We shut off a lot of the major corridors where, you know, traditionally the narcotic traffickers and customers would would cluster to uh, to buy their product. And when you start getting the clustering. Then you really have significant problems because you get the, the violent crime that's associated with it. Trying to determine where we're going to go with the project. Um, we're looking at our part one crime, our drug crimes, our housing, um, to develop our treatment areas so we can uh, do some targeting type policing, um, work on our drug intervention program with our, our youthful offenders in those locations that are that maybe have dropped out of school or they're, they're, they're involved in criminal activity to try to reroute them into being uh, more productive citizens of our, of our greater community. We're at a time where the police departments and criminal justice system are looking to, to move towards evidence-based practice. Uh, one of the things the university can do is, is uh, through our research look at promising practices throughout the United States and even, even internationally uh, and try to identify uh, those uh, initiatives that attempt to improve public safety and the quality of life in, in neighborhoods. As a police department, we don't really have the, the capabilities to measure our, our, our impact um, that we're having specifically on an area. And I think with MSU, we've got their experience throughout the country and, and how this has worked in, in other communities. So it's an invaluable part of our project. 20 years you know, into the future, the area has been stabilized. The biggest thing was the, the neighborhood involvement with, with the city of, and, uh, attacking you know, the housing issues and, and improving the housing stock and getting homeowners back into this neighborhood. Mm -hmm.